But first tonight, only on Eyewitness News, we're speaking exclusively with a local woman whose son was killed in a hit and run accident last year. And the search for the person who struck and killed 19 year old Matthew O'Gara with a snow plow lasted for days and Coventry police eventually arrested and charged the suspect. But Matthew's mother says it's not enough. Now she's taking her plea to the state house. In a sit down interview with Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin, Barbara O'Gara tells us she hopes no other parent has to deal with the life sentence she'll forever carry with her. Matthew O'Gara was struck and killed by a snowplow here off Arnold Road last February. Almost a year later, a memorial continues to grow at the very spot where it happened. And now Matthew's family is hoping to channel their grief into change. Can you believe it? One year. Does it feel like it's been a while since you've seen no, him? No, it feels like it's yesterday. <laughs> This is all Barbara O'Gara has left of her son. He was awesome. <laughs> he had such a big heart. I, I really could see him going places, you know, in life. Matthew's life cut short on February 13th, 2017. The 19 year old was hit and killed by a snowplow on a Coventry road early in the morning. The driver fled the scene. I woke up to the cop in my room and he said that um, Matt was hit by a plow. It didn't look good, he wasn't breathing, and I had to get to the Kent County as soon as I could. Just a few days later, Barbara would bury her son, and then the grief would set in. You just go into a whole different place, and after that, like it just, I think I was there for a while. Sometimes I still feel like I'm there. For days, the O'Gara family didn't know who was responsible for Matthew's death. Finally, police arrested and charged William Fallon with the crime. But that wasn't enough for Barbara, who now wants justice for Matthew. She initially s sat down on the couch with me and she pointed right up to a family portrait on the wall of her family. She said, my son's never coming back again. That's why State Representative Bobby Nardalillo is seeking stiffer penalties in fatal hit and run crashes. Under his proposed bill, the minimum sentence for an offender would increase from two years to five years in prison. The maximum fine would go up $10,000 and the offender could have their license suspended for up to five years. I promised her I would work on, on bringing justice to these circumstances. This bill won't bring Matthew back, but Barbara says it's a start. Matt's gone forever. How, how do people find that okay? It's hard. He was a really good kid. Barbara tells us a couple weeks ago on what would have been Matthew's 20th birthday, his friends and family actually came to the memorial to celebrate his life. Rep Nardalillo telling us that he has a lot of support for this bill in the House so far. He hopes to have it passed this session. Reporting in Coventry, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.